Starting off in our 10th spot, we have the capsules of ancient Egypt. Now, ancient Egypt is known for having several unexplored tombs, tunnels, and crypts. Now, the crypts themselves are often referred to as time capsules because of all the hidden artifacts preserved inside. Other people believe that there are tons of time capsules hidden throughout ancient Egypt, although they wouldn't be the typical ones that we have today. They believe that these would contain artifacts and scrolls that could give us more information on ancient Egypt. However, people believe that if you open these capsules, then you will be subject to an ancient Egyptian curse, or that you will trigger some sort of booby trap and be killed in the process. Other people believe that if you don't open the capsules correctly, then it could completely destroy the artifacts inside. It's frustrating because these capsules could help us learn more about ancient Egypt, but at the same time, nobody wants to be cursed. Moving on at number 9, we have the mysterious time capsule at the Washington Monument. Now, during construction of the Washington Monument, workers discovered a mysterious time capsule. They said that this time capsule was over a hundred years old. The capsule was found behind a bronze plaque that had September 12, 1915 engraved on it. People believe that that was roughly the time that the capsule was placed there. Now, no one knows who made this capsule or why it was there. It still remains a huge mystery to this day. Now, many people didn't want to open the capsule, fearing that it may destroy the contents. But they didn't listen, and a year later it was opened. Thankfully, none of the contents were destroyed. Now, I know I technically like cheated with this one because they opened it, but this story was too interesting to not include. Like, they still don't know who put it there. In the capsule, there was a copy of George Washington's second inaugural address, a glass bottle with his portrait, and some coins. So, did somebody put it there on behalf of George Washington, or what? Mystery remains. At number 8, we have the refrigerator capsules. Now, in 1939, Westington House filled a capsule with hundreds of items. Some items included alarm clocks, hats, and alphabet blocks. Now, a man named Wayne Donaldson was inspired by that and in the 60s decided to fill a refrigerator and bury it on a hill. A bunch of other individuals followed in his lead and also did this. Apparently, using a fridge worked really well because it kept bugs out and preserved the items. Now, Wayne decided to put items such as a lava lamp, photos, and hit records in the fridge. All of these individuals plan to dig up their fridge when they are 80. But seriously, hold on one second. Fridges are expensive and they would be a hassle to bury. So you won't catch me doing that. Now, there is a conspiracy that some other people have buried some fridges of their own. But these fridges won't contain lava lamps. Instead, they believe that it may contain dead bodies. In our seventh spot, we have the photograph time capsule. Now, this next story was posted by a Reddit user. Although I'm not sure of its validity, it was too good to not include in this video. So, this user said that 20 years ago, him and his four childhood friends made and buried time capsules. Now, they almost forgot about their time capsules, but eventually they remembered and dug them up when they were around 30. But when they dug it up, the user found something more terrifying. Now, in his capsule, he originally placed two medals, a $5 bill, and a Charmander Pokemon card. However, all that he found in his time capsules were photos. Now, he really should not have opened this capsule. Each photo was of him at a different stage of his life, and it was labeled. The first photo was of him at his father's funeral. The caption wrote, Soon you'll wish you could join your father. Another photo was at his graduation. The person that took this photo is said to be Karma. Now, this is quite scary because he doesn't know who had been taking these photos of him and how it got inside the time capsule. Now, this story may be fake, but people believe that it was the user from a parallel universe contacting himself. One thing for sure is that this Reddit user wishes that he listened to his instinct that told him to not open the capsule. Coming in at number 6, we have the Expo 70 time capsule. Now, this time capsule was created by Panasonic and the Mainichi newspaper. They wanted to create two time capsules that preserved life and heritage. Now, the lower time capsule is going to remain buried for another 5,000 more years. The upper capsule was opened in 2000 and another would be opened every 100 years. Now, each capsule is said to contain 2,098 objects. A lot of the objects in the capsules are still unknown. However, some have reported items such as false teeth, handcuffs, a glass eye, and insects and resin. Like seriously, what a random mixture of things. But what are the other items in the capsules? Well. I don't think we'll be alive to get the answer to that question. But hey, if you're watching this video in the year 6000, then comment down below. 
We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with the largest axe in the world. Now let's make our way to my country Canada. In New Brunswick a giant axe monument was constructed. This was to commemorate the importance of the lumber and forestry business. Honestly this is one of the most Canadian things I swear. Now this axe is huge. It is made out of 55 tons of steel. It's 23 feet in length and the handle extends about 50 feet in the air. It's massive. Now apparently there is a time capsule hidden in the axe head and people believe that it will never be discovered. Seriously, what do they have to hide? Why would they put a time capsule somewhere that can't be accessed? And I don't think anyone is going to destroy this monument, so safe to say that we will never know Canada's secret. But honestly, it makes me think what other monuments have time capsules inside of them? Maybe the Statue of Liberty? Who knows? But knowing Canada is probably just something like a maple syrup recipe or how to make the best poutine, I don't know. At number four, we have the haunted capsule. Now, this is another story posted on Reddit. What's freaky is I ended up writing about this and then I went back to the page and it no longer existed, so I don't even know. So on January 20th, 2018, this user and his friend found a time capsule while using a metal detector out in the forest. The time capsule had please don't open written on the lid. His friend really wanted to open it, but the user got a bad vibe from it. He even said that when he touched the capsule to open the lid, he felt cold all of a sudden and his vision went dark for a bit. Now, the friend ended up taking the capsule home, but immediately regretted it. He said that the whole night he felt like someone was watching him. The next day, they went back and reburied the time capsule. But they still don't know who put it there, why, and what's inside. Honestly, I'm just glad that they didn't open it. Like, it probably would have just unleashed some sort of demon. Sounds like a good basis for a scary movie, though. Coming in at number three, we have the Crypt of Civilization. Now, this chamber was built from 1937 to 1940. And you heard correctly, it's a whole dang chamber, not just a tiny capsule. It's a full 2,000 cubic foot room filled with documents and artifacts. Now, you're not allowed to open the chamber for around another 6,000 years. So, the purpose of the chamber is actually terrifying. It is said to be compiled with knowledge and other contents to preserve our way of life in case of mass extinction. So this room contains items such as 800 works of every subject, historical recordings, and items to show our technological advancements like typewriters. There are other random items like pantyhose and a figurine of Donald Duck, you know the important stuff. There's also a device that will instruct those who find the chamber to learn how to speak English. Now, people believe that this was made because humanity won't live much longer. They think that another species will dominate or that the government has some sort of sinister plan to deal with overpopulation. This chamber will hold the last memories of the human race. But seriously, imagine finding this chamber and seeing pantyhose. Like, I wouldn't know what they're for. Like, putting them on my legs would be the last thing I would do. Next up at number two, we have Franklin Roosevelt's time capsule. Franklin D. Roosevelt was the 32nd president of the United States. Now, in 1940, Mr. Roosevelt buried a 450 pound time capsule, which is said to be opened in 2040. That's right, this thing is massive. But oddly enough, no one knows what is actually in there. Seems hard to believe that the president was able to bury a huge time capsule with no one even questioning it. When researching, there's hardly any information on it. And people believe that that's for a reason. People think that what the capsule contains poses a threat to national security and should never be opened. They fear that it will reveal harmful government secrets. Other people hope that it will have the frozen president himself in there. Which wouldn't make that much sense if he was still alive when it was buried. But all we can do is make assumptions and hope that nothing bad happens when it's opened in 20 years. And in our number one spot, we have the Richard Nixon time capsule. Now, Richard Nixon was the 37th president of the United States and was said to have hidden a time capsule in the White House. What does this capsule contain, you ask? Well, according to Earl Robert Merritt, Richard confided in him that it contains proof of extraterrestrials. Now, some people don't believe Earl and question his credibility, but he swears that the president met with him in secret and read him a letter stating that the US was protecting extraterrestrials. He also claims that scientists were conducting experiments and communicating with them. Now, the location of this time capsule is still unknown. Only a handful of people know where it's hidden. However, Nixon claimed that it will surface when the time is right. Huh, what do you think? Are aliens real? Will this time capsule expose the US government? What do you think? 
Let me know in the comments below. Starting off at number 10 now, we have the Star Wars capsule. Even some of the biggest Star Wars fans in the world might not know that there is a secret Star Wars time capsule somewhere out there. It's buried at Skywalker Ranch in California. It was put there by Star Wars creator George Lucas. He put it in the corner of the building and filled it with secret artifacts from the Star Wars movies. George was once asked when would this time capsule be opened and he said never, literally never. Well not quite never, but he wants it to be discovered in the distant future by archaeologists. This is bad news for diehard Star Wars fans out there who are really hoping to one day see the priceless contents of this time capsule. Moving on now to number 9, we have the Millennium Time Capsule. Now as you guys might guess from the name, this time capsule was buried at the turn of the millennium in the year 2000. It was sealed by the White House and contains a number of culturally significant items from history. These include a CD, photos of Earth from space, a computer chip, a World War II helmet, it, a cell phone, a piece of the Berlin Wall, and even a photo of Rosa Parks. There's also a pair of Ray Charles sunglasses, because, you know, why not? For me though, the most interesting thing they put in there might actually be Twinkies. Yeah, an actual pack of Twinkies. However, I also read that the Twinkies were later removed because they were attracting mice. I guess people in a thousand years will know a lot about our world, but almost nothing about Twinkies. What a shame. Next up at number 8 now, we have the largest time capsule. The town of Seward, Nebraska claims to have the world's largest time capsule. It was constructed by local store owner Harold Keith Davison, who wanted his grandchildren to know what his life was like when he buried it in 1975. The 45-ton vault was buried under a mound of dirt on the front lawn of his appliance store. It's packed with artifacts from his own life and also general items from the 1970s. The most striking item has to be his Chevy Vega car, which still sits inside the vault to this day. Moving on now to number 7, we have the Westinghouse time capsules. These are a pair of time capsules prepared by the Westinghouse Electric and Manufacturing Company. The first one was buried for the 1939 New York World Fair and contained fabrics, metals, plastics, literature, art and news events from the time recorded on microfilm. The capsules are intended to be open in the year 6939, a full 5,000 years after they were buried. In that distant future, our language and culture may be so different that whoever finds the capsule may not know what to do with any of the items inside. This is why the creators of the time capsule included detailed instructions on how to make a microfilm viewer and also a projector for the newsreels. I'm sure the future humans will really appreciate that. Next up at number 6 now, we have the Helium Centennial Time Columns Monument. This was constructed in 1968 to commemorate the 100th anniversary of the discovery of helium. The time capsule is actually made up of four different parts. The different parts are supposed to be opened after 25 years and 50, then 100 and then 1000 years. The first two have already been opened but the third will not be opened until the year 2068 and the final one until the year 3068. Now that last capsule contains a passbook for a $10 savings account from an Oklahoma City bank which draws 4% interest every year. After 1000 years it will be worth over 1 quadrillion dollars. So definitely worth the wait. Next up at number 5 now we have Keo. Technically Keo isn't a time capsule yet. But for me, it's too interesting to not include on this list. Keo is a proposed space time capsule which was intended to launch back in 2003. It would be set on a course that would lead back to Earth 50,000 years in the future. It sounded like the perfect time capsule. It would be out there drifting in space without ever being tainted or ruined by people here on Earth. And what would the world look like when it finally landed again in 50,000 years? Well, fans of the project have been left wondering those questions. The project was delayed until 2006, then to 2007, then 2008, then 2010, and then basically every year since then. Currently, the Kia website cites 2009 as its launch. They are inviting every person in the world to contribute to their capsule. They're looking for people to post messages to the people living 50,000 years in the future. They promise that every message will be included without any censorship. Although Keo has been delaying its launch now for over 15 years, many people still send their messages to them just in case the project ever does go ahead. Moving on now to number 4, we have the CN Tower. Some of you may be surprised to learn that our channel is based in Toronto, 
Canada. Perhaps the most iconic landmark in this city is the CN Tower. Standing at over 1800 feet, it's towered over the city since its completion in 1976. To mark the occasion, a time capsule was placed at the very top of the tower inside the walls of the lookout level. It's intended to be opened in the year 2076, a century after its completion. Inside, the contents contain a letter from former Prime Minister Pierre Trudeau, letters from school children at the time, copies of three newspapers, Canadian coins and bills, and even a video about how the tower was constructed. Ah, oh, isn't that nice? And finally at number one now, we have the Yahoo capsule. In 2006, tech company Yahoo set up a time capsule project where users could contribute to how digital life was like in the year 2006. When they cut off the submissions, they had received over 170,000 messages, with the largest amount coming from people in their 20s. The collection was then sealed and given to the Smithsonian Folkways Recordings in Washington DC. It was decided that the capsule would be opened in 2020 to mark the 25th birthday of Yahoo. The capsule will only have been sealed for about 14 years by that point, but as I'm sure many of you are aware, that might as well be a thousand years when it comes to the changing landscape of the internet. Starting off at number 10 now, we have Disneyland. Most people who visit Disneyland in California are there for the rides, the shows and the fireworks. Very few of the millions of visitors are aware of the Disneyland time capsule. In 1995, cast members of the park built a time capsule to commemorate the park's 40th anniversary. The plaque reads, a time castle containing Disneyland memories, messages and milestones lies beneath this spot. The Disneyland time capsule is dedicated to the children of the 21st century who may unlock its contents on the 80th anniversary of Disneyland, July 17th, 2035. The time capsule is buried in the center court off Main Street. It contains photos, newspapers, an Indiana Jones decoder card, whatever that is, and loads of other Disneyland memorabilia. Disney California Adventure also did the same thing in 2012, leaving the time capsule there to be opened in 2037. Coming in at number eight now, we have the General Dynamic Astronautics Time Capsule. This time capsule consists of a booklet simply titled 2063 AD. It was sealed in in July 1963 and contains predictions by scientists, politicians, astronauts and military commanders about the state of space exploration in the year 2063. The introduction to the booklet reads as follows. This archive records the predictions sealed in a time capsule during ceremonies commemorating the 5th anniversary of the dedication of the General Dynamics Astronautics Facility. The time capsule is located on the west ramp entrance of the General Dynamics Astronautics Facility at 500 one Kearney Villa Road, San Diego, California. The capsule is to be opened on July 13th, 2063. Now guys, I found this one quite interesting because we're already over the halfway point now to 2063. There's only 44 years left out of the 100. Maybe I don't know enough about space travel at the moment, but honestly, humanity doesn't seem to have done too much in terms of at least manned missions since the 1960s. Hopefully someone who knows a lot more than me can tell me I'm very wrong in the comment section below. Moving on to number seven now, we have the MLK time capsule. In 1963, Martin Luther King Jr. gave his famous I Have a Dream speech at the the Western Plaza in Washington DC. 25 years later, in 1988, Western Plaza was renamed Freedom Plaza in honor of Martin Luther King Jr. A time capsule was also buried there to commemorate the occasion. It contains an assortment of MLK's personal items, such as his Bible, a robe he wore to preach in, and even some audio recordings of some of his speeches. The time capsule is set to be opened in 2088, exactly 100 years after it was first laid down. Next up, number six now, we have FDR's time capsule. In 1940, former US President Franklin Delano Roosevelt buried a time capsule. It was buried at the University of Pennsylvania, and it's massive. It weighs over 450 pounds. That's pretty heavy for a time capsule. There must be some serious load in there. But the interesting thing is, nobody knows what's inside it. That's pretty strange. You'd think that a massive time capsule buried by an actual US president at a university would be well documented, but it's not really. The only thing we know, other than its weight, is when it can be opened. 2040, exactly 100 years after FDR laid it down. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really excited to know what's inside this. We just have to wait though. 
Moving on to number five now, we have Nickelodeon. Disney are the only kids company that have got in on the time capsule game. In 1992, a time capsule was buried at Nickelodeon Studios. It was later moved to a different studio in 2005, and then again in 2016. It now lies at the Nickelodeon Animation Studio and is set to be opened in 2042, 50 years after it was first sealed. So, what's inside? Well, Nickelodeon got together with the Kids World Council, yes, that's a real thing, and they decided what was the most important things to kids at that time. These included movies such as Back to the Future and Home Alone on VHS, of course, MC Hammer and Michael Jackson CDs, a Nintendo Game Boy, rollerblades, and some Reebok Pump sneakers. They also put pencils, a skateboard, a baseball, and even a Twinkie in there. This is actually the second time capsule I've talked about recently where they put a Twinkie inside. What is all that about? I've heard that Twinkies do last for years if they are sealed in their packets. Is that why? Are people burying Twinkies and just sort of storing them for future generations to try? Will they like them? I guess we'll have to wait to find out. Maybe Twinkies will actually still be sold then, now I think about it. Awkward. Moving on now to the number four spot, we have Perth Observatory. This building was constructed in 1896 in order to help keep time for the whole of Western Australia. When the foundation was laid, the ceremony was attended by Sir John Forrest and a number of other notable dignitaries. They constructed a time capsule out of a lead box and placed it directly beneath a foundation stone. According to the local press, it contained Rontgen Ray's tubes, a description of the process, together with specimen photographs. These were all done donated by X-ray pioneer William John Hancock. This time capsule is quite special because it's not only the first known time capsule buried in that area, but in the whole of Australia in general. At the time of recording this video, this time capsule has been underground for over 122 years and counting. There are currently no plans to open the time capsule, unless the building is destroyed for some reason. The government announced in 2013 that all research programs would be cut at the observatory, but the building itself would remain open for tours. That means that for the time being, the oldest time capsule in Australia remains safely in place, with no plans to open it in the near future. Moving on to the number two spot now, we have the Bacardi capsule. A lot of the time capsules that I've talked about in these videos are buried by governments or schools, that sort of thing. This is definitely the first one I've talked about that was buried by a rum company, or at least an alcohol company, specifically Bacardi. It was buried in the Bacardi headquarters in Bermuda to celebrate 150 years since Bacardi was founded. It was intended to be a sort of living snapshot of the company in 2012 and can messages from members of lots of different levels of the company. The messages were addressed to Bacardi employees of 2062. That year will mark the 200th anniversary of the company being founded and the time capsule will then be opened up. The time capsule also contains photographs of nearly 500 Bacardi employees representing eight generations. There was also a commemorative medal honoring Bacardi rum as the world's most awarded spirit. Then there was a letter written in an ancient ancient style of Chinese characters from their Chinese based employees, a letter from their German employees and a decorated African gourd. These are just some of the items from all over the world that are in there. The time capsule will be opened in a further 43 years and not a moment sooner. And finally at the number one spot now we have Tesla. The Arch Mission Foundation is an organization with a goal to create deposits of human knowledge around the solar system. They believe that the more spread out our knowledge is, the more likely it is to survive any sort of disaster so that it can be preserved for future generations. In December 2017, the company's co-founder Novak Spivak heard that SpaceX was launching a Tesla into space. He actually tweeted at Elon Musk who agreed to put the arch disks of human knowledge onto the Tesla. It was named the Solar Library and is thought to just remain on this Tesla car as it orbits around the sun for the next few million years. Mm. 